It's so cold out. Oh my god. All right, what is going on guys? So this is the final week. This is the peak week right here. So um, essentially peak week is going to be, it's not the actual week of the meet, but this is like the week before the week of the meet. So you peak and then you taper. So peaking, uh, we're basically like intensity is at its highest. We're hitting the heaviest weights. Uh, as you can see this week we're doing, yeah, essentially this week we're doing heavy singles. We're doing uh, heavy sets at RPE nine. So everything's super heavy this week. Um, just literally a very, very taxing week. Um, so we started this thing off with squats and bench, of course, on Monday. And this is like the last week. So this is like make or break. Um, you're just hitting as much possible weight as you can. Um, obviously, we're not going to failure or anything like that. But it's just like, it's it's a very intense week because you're getting yourself ready for the competition. You're going to taper the next week uh, and just kind of um, hit your openers, um, hit lighter singles and prepare yourself for the meet, kind of recover. Um, you're not pushing yourself as much because you're trying to allow your your body and your central nervous system to recover for the meat. So this week is the week. Anyways, just hit a single at 606 pounds. At the time, I thought it was um, only 595 for some reason. I did the math wrong, but it was actually 606. Moved pretty well. Uh, and then we just had some back offsets with 496, uh, which I think the depth on these is a lot better. That's where my depth needs to be every single time. I don't know why I'm cutting depth on the heavier weights, but um, I'm going to have to sync these, these reps uh, when it comes to the meat for my singles because um, I, I literally, I can't miss depth. I missed depth last year on a close call and um, I, I just can't, I can't afford that this year. You know what I mean? So uh, moving on to bench here. So we just hit a top single of 375 pounds this day, um, which honestly moved pretty well. I probably could have gone a little bit higher, but I'm being kind of conservative. Uh, I didn't want to hit like, you know, 385, 390 because at this time, um, kind of my whole body was achy. Everything was just kind of hurting a little bit. Um, and then we backed it off. We hit uh, 353 pounds for our top set of four at RP9 here. So this was pretty good for me. A top set of four at RP9 with 353 pounds. Like literally last year at this time, I think my top set of four might have been like 325 or something like that. So that's honestly really good progress for me. Uh, just some back offs for 330. I really like the way bench has been moving. Um, like this is moving insanely good. Like 330 pounds is my back off sets now for my sets of four. Like last year at this time, I don't even think I could do 330 for a set of four pause with good pauses. I'd probably bouncing it off my chest, slingshotting it off my chest and everything. Um, anyways, moving into session two, which is deadlift and touch and go bench. Again, really heavy day. So I decided I wanted to hit like 655 or something like that in deadlift, but um, it wasn't my best deadlift day. That's supposed to be RP8. That's probably way too heavy. I overshot a little bit. Um, 645. Honestly, felt good off the ground, but black I was a little, a little slow, a little slow. And then pretty much on bench this day, I don't have the clip for some reason. Oh, on this day, so we hit a 380 pound single and then backed it off. We had our top set of four at 358 pounds. That was like maybe RP 8.5. That was good. That was good, <laughs> yeah. And then basically just skipped session three here because there wasn't anything really exciting to show you guys. Um, so here is just deficit deadlifts on session four. Session three, I pretty much just came in, hit arms, walked the treadmill, um, did some quad extensions. It wasn't anything crazy or anything like that. So I didn't think it was worthy of actually filming for this. So session four, we had deficit deadlifts. So one to two inch deficit. I'm just standing on one plate here. 584 pounds on the bar right now. We're going we're gonna to hit this for a set of four. It's supposed to be RP8, and that's the goal. We're going to make it an RP8 and then go up from there. Um, 562 felt like a little bit heavy, but same thing happened last week. First set felt kind of heavy. After that, felt good. So we're going to freaking hit this. Um, everything we got right here. That's what it comes down to. I got to get more focused. So 584 on the deficit deadlift. Let's hit this for four. Oh, we're doing top sets of four today. So it was literally set of four RP8, set of four RP9 and then back it off for another two sets. So the this was like technically not a top set yet and it moved pretty good. So I decided to make the jump up to, um, I believe I just went 606. I was gonna try to do four on the deficit deadlift. I had like an RP9. 584, felt pretty solid. Um, I would say that was pretty good RP8. Um, so we're moving up about 20 pounds here. We got 606 on the bar with five reds. So uh, this is gonna be a little, a little tougher, but um, we did this last week. It was on like literally an Olympic bar with 
some almost like bumper plates or something like that. It'd be a little different, but um, let's throw this around. Four reps, here we go, RP9. So yeah, basically this, honestly, the set moved pretty well. It felt kind of heavy. I felt very like sore and just a little bit off this day. And for some reason on this set of 606, I kind of like strained my lower back a little bit, which you guys will hear me talk about later on in this video. Um, and it, it literally, the set did not look that bad. My form didn't look crazy off or anything. Um, but for some reason, um, I, I, I literally like strained my lower back a little bit and it was, it was like hard for me to bend over the rest of this day. I decided to not do my incline bench and just decided to go straight to, uh, just my feet up bench because benching, it felt okay um, on my back to be able to like arch that actually felt good. It's just like when I was bending over, it was, it was really bothering me. And, uh, you know, I was just like, I wasn't sure what exactly happened. Just some little lapse in form, I guess, caused some sort of strain in my lower back. But, um, moving on to session five this day, you guys will hear me talk about it, but I decided not to, not to squat this day because it, I just, I just didn't have full strength in my lower back like whatsoever last heavy training day of the week last like very heavy training day of the entire prep basically so we're doing 363 on the bar right now we had two reds and a blue um so hit this for a single i'm honestly feeling pretty good today i got the belts on because kind of like almost tweaked my back a little bit yesterday doing deficit deadlifts so that's not good one week out but it feels okay benching i don't think i'm gonna squat today but um <laughs> we're gonna hit this keep moving up from there i'd like to hit at least like 380 or something like that get some solid pauses and let's explode doing drafts Let's do it. Alright, so we're officially one week out here. Um, so my back's feeling a little bit better, but we're gonna go ahead and roll out a little bit today. Johan's gonna put this big metal thing on my back. And uh just gonna try to just kind of warm it up, move it, move it around a little bit, get some uh, get some more mobility in it, because definitely feeling I don't know, it's just like literally, I feel like, dude, I feel like I can't, I still can't like fully bend over, you know what I mean? It's just so it feels better because was it Thursday? I kind of tweaked it and I literally felt like I couldn't even pick up the bar. Yeah, we're gonna, we got these big things. How much does that weigh? I think it's like 90. It's like 90 pounds. That one's like 90. That was like what, 150, 150 they said? Dude. I'm and not picking that up, dude. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm mean, usually like, Nick was, Nick was like pressing down on my back too with it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically we're gonna use these things, throw in my back. Um, Hopefully, just kind of what what is it? What is exactly does it do? Like, yeah, I, I really gets blood know. to the area or I something? So. Dude, like I, I use it, I use it like the past like two three days and kind of like it, but I'm not exactly sure what it does. A little deadlift uh, warm up right yeah. there, huh? I mean, it's 90 pounds, so it's like. That's kind of been the routine, so I'll do that for like, literally a couple minutes right there. About to go lay on a foam roller here. It's so random that I like tweaked my back just doing like 606, like it wasn't extremely heavy necessarily. Set of four, um, the set didn't even look that bad either. Um, but you know, just something something with my form just didn't quite click that day. So, um, you know, one week out, we gotta make sure we're, we're good going into this. So I didn't squat yesterday, obviously. I squatted like 135 just to see how it felt. Um, as long as I was bracing properly, felt pretty good, but I wasn't confident that I could hold like 600 pounds on my back yesterday. So we're using this weekend to recover, rehab. We're gonna go to the chiropractor <laughs> and see what we can do just to be feeling good for next week because I this is what I've been training for the past 12 weeks or actually more than that. So um, 
you know, we're trying to make sure we're good for this competition, so. Do a quick 10 minutes on the treadmill here, real quick. Just get some, I don't know, just get moving a little bit. Um, we literally just hit a bicep curl, did like five, six sets of that. Did five, six sets of tricep push downs. Literally just arms, nothing too taxing or anything like that. We're gonna do like I said, 10 minutes treadmill. A um, little bit of mobility work for my back earlier. Gonna do a little bit at the end of this workout too. And then we're gonna go chiropractor. Um, but yeah, nothing too taxing today. Pretty simple, and uh, it's gonna be the workout. Right now, nice feeling, uh, feeling pretty loose. Nice and adjusted. Yeah, very. That was the first time I've ever done something like Lucy that. Man. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey right now. Yeah. So we got ourselves all adjusted. Um, I don't know how much that's gonna help my like lower back, but you know, gotta do everything you can yeah, at this point. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's the most shabby move ever, man. It literally is. Yeah. Forgets his ID before the airport. Forgets his phone. Had to turn around in the Uber. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh my god. Seven days out, one week out. We'll see if that helps. Resting up the rest of this weekend now um, because I just I can't afford to have a, a lower back pain when you got a deadlift and squat. You yeah, know lower what I mean? back's that's pretty just, essential. Dude, Steve. that's like all that's stabilization kind of and everything, man. You know what I mean? For sure. So yeah. I kind of need that. All right, so this is a couple days later now. Things are feeling a lot better, a lot more mobility. Uh, it's not as stiff. Pain is down a lot, uh, which is really good. I just did squat and bench, um, and I have no issues with squat and bench whatsoever, except on squat, it's just a little bit harder for me to brace right now, but I think the strength and everything is still 100% there. It's just deadlift that's gonna be the issue right now, which I think um, I didn't tell anybody really too much about this, because I figured it would kind of go away uh, pretty quickly. So um, it's just a little bit of an issue with deadlift right now, just because it's hard me to like uh pick stuff up off the ground so deadlift is going to be a little bit difficult because i feel that right in my lower back obviously conventional deadlift has a lot to do with lower back um strength so yeah I, we have like four or five days until competition still and things have gotten a lot better since this happened so i think uh we should have plenty of time should be feeling good by then i'm pretty confident i'll be feeling good by meat day uh we're just gonna keep resting recovering you know you just gotta work through sometimes those nagging injuries i've you know had this quad tendonitis the past year or so it's just like you know you're trying to stay as healthy as you can but there's always like these little tiny injuries. They're not necessarily injuries, but they just kind of like, they, they make you feel like you can't push yourself to your full potential. So we just gotta get through these, get around these, uh, see what we can do to just, you know, um, be healthy by meat day. This is gonna be the end of the video. We got at least one or two more videos until the meat day. And then I have Aiden coming down with us to shoot the whole meat day video. So it's gonna be a crazy video. You guys are really gonna like it. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. More videos coming soon. Competition day, Saturday, December 12th. So we got technically, we're four days out from today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. People trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can't give them life, no more energy.